Hello and welcome to New York Crypto Talk. Per popular demand on my Twitter page, I will be doing a project review on Holochain, which is a framework for building P2P applications. What makes it stand out from other blockchain projects? Well, it's because it's not based on blockchain. It's based off an agent-centric model that is also includes a distributed hash table as the core functionality of the system. I'll explain what both of those mean in terms of technology later. Holochain doesn't use a consensus to verify transactions against the whole chain, so it'll operate differently than we generally think about as far as a distributed model. It looks to reduce the high energy consumption of blockchain, the storage requirements, and the processing bottlenecks, which we commonly like to phrase as transactions per seconds, which all blockchains look to best each other on. In this review, I'll be focusing on, on the tech behind Holochain, the industry, the competition, the roadmap, the major milestones, and my closing thoughts. So what is Holochain? Well, Holochain is independent hash change, signing of chains and messages, and a distributed hash table. They use the name holographic in the name of the company to depict the storage means that every node has a resiliency sample code of the whole network. So if you cut Holochain network in half, you would have two whole functioning systems, not two partial broken systems. And then they also thought of it as holarchy. So Holochains can build using other Holochains, making holistic patterns possible. So how is it different than blockchain? Well, here you can see on their website, they say, think outside the blocks. Blockchain manages global consensus of every change to a ledger. With Holochain, every user has their own signed hash chain, which is shared with the DHT, the distributed hash table, where every node runs the same validation rules. The validation rules are what they use as a consensus mechanism. User maintains their own history. It almost as if each user has their own chain dedicated just for their information. This allows for individuals to own their transactions verify their with their own signature which is their private key and the consensus of the validation rules is an accountability based system so here you can see it's a scalable distributed apps with DAG integrity versatile solutions a decentralization with no bottlenecks and an adaptable validation peer-to-peer -peer, so no centralized service no ledgers no middlemen and it's agent centric so the individual authority over data sharing access and storage is by the user so what is an agent-centric platform? So the best comparison would be what Holochain likes to compare itself with, which is Git, which is the most well-known project collaboration tool for developers. It basically allows for forks to be created when differences of certain degrees are made in the code. It allows two projects to exist in the same fundamental layer. So by saying that in the way that the code works or the forks work on GitHub will be how the aging centric hollow chains will exist. So each user will be on the hollow chain, but they'll have their own specific code base. So going back to my original statement, as Holochain has no one global shared state, there is no there's neither consensus nor a single ledger. So Holochain is not your everyday blockchain because technically it's not a blockchain. There's a good video here on YouTube where you can check it out. I will put it in the link below. It's how Holochain works and how it's explained in eight minutes by the developer of the Holochain platform. So going back into the distributed hash table. A distributed hash table is something similar to what torrents have done in the past. It's a decentralized storage system. It allows for users to have multiple sources and multiple hosts where they can get their information from. So in the same manner, Holochain nodes don't have to share a single node or a global state as long as some nodes can piece together parts of the whole, which is the distributed hash table. So each user will have pieces of the pie that will be included on the distributed hash table. So as long as there's an X amount of people within the network, they will be able to save the data just in case a node goes offline. So here you can see what the key points of Holochain people benefit from. So they own their own data, they control their identity, it connects applications to suit their needs, it transacts without centralized systems, and it builds a lighter, faster, cheaper application. So with that being said, there are a lot of benefits for Holochain before I jump into some of the articles and some of the good pieces of information here as far as the tech is concerned. 
some of the main things that they feel that they are looking to accomplish with the hollow chain is governance, collaboration, social media, social networks, vendor links, sharing economy, platform co-ops apps, supply chain wins, and social communities. They're not looking to build a cryptocurrency. They're not looking to build a base platform. They're basically looking to build a dApp platform so that users who want to be able to own their own data can have that information available for you. It's not meant to be a cryptocurrency. It's not meant to be with the high utilization that might be need for a shared source of data. It's more for people who have individual pieces of information that needs to be stored, whether it's cloud storage like Amazon AWX or Microsoft Azure, which are some of the key competitors that the mainstream space that Holochain is looking to move into. And Holo is another project in relation to Holochain, and basically that is the hardware-based solution for the platform. I won't go to too many details about this. They did have an Indiegogo campaign where they built basically small, almost Intel NUX that will host the actual Holo network, which will support the Holo D apps that will be on there. So you can basically run this, earn credits for people who are building D apps and hosting on your device. So moving into some of the articles from Holochain, one of the things that they talk about is basically introducing the human commons license. So they are trying to rephrase it and utilize the the way the technology works into building a user centric platform where basically people own their own information. They own their keys, they own their data, and the, there's no commercial utilization of this information. So when you go into Facebook, you do not own your information. So that's where the human comments license comes in. So all these articles I will link in the description below. Mind you, they're from the Holochain team, so this is their perspective. This is not an outsider perspective of what they envision for the project. Looking into the actual platforms that Holochain is looking to compare itself with, there will be a lot of platforms here from Hashgraph to IOTA, Substratum, IPFS, and many more. I will put this in the link description below, but it basically breaks down the different types of functionality between the dApp environment, consensus model, currency model, scalability, uses in blockchain, and the current status. So they kind of break down where they see themselves in the whole realm of blockchain. Mind you, they are not a blockchain-based platform but they are in the space. The main functionality of the platform is really building this serverless dApp platform where agent-centric functionality is the key. To really understand how it works and how this distributed hash table works as well as the agent-centric model works, this is a great infographic. I will put it in the link description below, but it basically tells you how the user signs their message with their own private key. It gets added to their log, their chain basically, their specific piece of the pie when it comes to hollow chain. Then it also gets added to other devices and then it goes through the validation process. So this is their consensus mechanism. This is the technology that they use instead of a traditional consensus. This is an accountability based system. It has to follow a specific set of rules within the system before it gets added to the DHT. This is also a pretty cool infographic that kind of gives you a, like a, a general overview how the platform can work the top points about the project. So the versatile solution, peer-to-peer, agent-centric, low-cost, lightweight, secure, holographic storage for distributed applications. This is Holochain in a nutshell, good infographic. I could not see who actually published this, but I thought this was really good for whoever did it, so credit to them. There's a great article here about distributed hash tables and while they're better than blockchain, so this was a good outside opinion about distributed hash tables versus blockchain. I will link this in the description below. There's a lot of information here. As far as their GitHub is concerned, it is very active. Holochain has a lot of people working it. There's a lot of contributors. There's a lot of commits going on for the platform as well as the prototype. Definitely check out their GitHub page if you are a developer to see how active they are and what kind of code is going into the project. The programming language for Holochain is called Go, which is based off of C. It's a little easier than C++ if you guys are not familiar. And then here on their GitHub page, they actually have a really good FAQ to learn a little bit more about the project. 
and then a little infographic that basically talks about how the hollow platform works mind you this is the hosting platform that works in conjunction with holochain so some upcoming events with holochain if you guys want to check it out you can go on holochain.org backslash events and you'll see all the upcoming events that are currently happening. They do have a New York City hackathon, which I might eventually check out. We'll see. Moving to my end thoughts. What do I think about Holochain? Well, I am a big fan of blockchain in general. So this outside interpretation of this distributed hash table and agent centric model, I'm not too familiar with. So obviously there's a little bit more of a gap when it comes to security and how vulnerable it might be. Mind you, they do believe that it is very secure and the way and utilization of deploying this type of platform versus others is more secure. Until things are tested, obviously, I will be a little bit hesitant on how that functionality works. Mind you, it is a new project. There's still a lot of things that are happening. Once they start building some dApps that are out there and they're live and we get some more developer updates on how Holochain works, I will remain a little bit cautious on the project. Mind you, there's a lot of hype around it. So a lot of people are excited. Not sure if the whole idea behind it being different than traditional blockchain is what's getting people hyped about it. The speculation between the team or the functionality that they have built for the future, I don't know. But I definitely will be watching out for Holochain over the next couple of months. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification for more videos. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks again for watching.